Dirty old light bulb mouse of here, eh? Well, boys, look at all these friggin' patterns I got. Holy. Eh? I've got like... Four 50C 5000s, I've got two 50C 5000s, one's in the old slash, I got a 2S, I got a 35, I got a couple more 35s. Like frig boys, now I have that friggin' x max eh? And uh, I need to get 4S labels now. I need a 4S pack, I do boys. Four, 4Sers, eh? 5000, so I'm gonna have to get more batteries boys because I gotta run that truck in uh, 8S man. Like, there's no friggin' way in hell I'm gonna be able to run that in 6S when it's capable of 8S. Freak no! That's just not me, boys. So, uh, I'm gonna have lots of batteries by the time I'm done. Friggin' right I am. Hey? Eh? Pile of them, boys. But, uh, comment below there and tell me what you think of, uh, the battery selection and tell me what you're running in your RCs. Tell me what you've had the best luck with. The old, uh, Venom there has been pretty good to me. Their warranty you can't beat. But, uh... I'm a little iffy on their 30, 35C batteries, boys. A little iffy on them. Even running this in my, just my slash, it likes to bulge, eh? The 50Cs, no problem, boys. You run them in the boats and the cars and everything else and they stay good. So if you're just getting in the RC world, I think you're best to get 50Cs. Big time. Hey, eh? Keep with us 50Cs, boys. That way you won't overload the battery. Because what happens is 50C means now I'm gonna do this in BILSIP terms, eh? Not technical terms, BILSIP terms. 35 C's by 5,000s. They allow so much voltage out at a burst draw, right? So say you got a car and you're doing a big giant burnout and you got a 35 C. What's happening is the, the bore's trying to draw that power out of the battery and the battery's struggling to get it out with the 35 C because it's restricting the voltage draw, the voltage current that the motor's drawing. So that's what causes damage to the batteries, boys. Right? Friggin' right it does. Light bulbs don't like that. So if you run a 50C, it allows a bigger burst. It does. And I'm pretty sure if I look at the tech on this bad boy, it's a 50C with a 100C burst, these ones. And these ones are, actually it says right on it, boys. It's a 35C with a 60C burst. So if the thing's calling for power, it's getting a 60C burst, eh? Where if these ones are calling for power, they're getting 100 bursts. So they get the full tilt, the motor can't take that much current where the motor's starving for not enough current. And that's what causes them to swell, boys. Freaking right. Or, you know, discharging them and not storm right too causes that, of course. Freaking right it does. But that's my theory on these LiPo batteries. And um, I've got some Gen Ace batteries. They're, you know, 5,000 milliamps. And they're, these are 3S, these ones. And these are 50Cs. And same thing, boys. No, no bubbling on them, eh? And I've had them out in the boat, I don't know how many times. I've had these out in the boat how many times? I don't know. Lots, eh? Freaking lots, boys. And uh, these ones here, it's been pretty good, they have. And that boat's running on 6S and boats pull a lot of juice, they do. Hey, they're, they're always under load. Always. Because it's water, boys. Water's heavy. Freaking right it is. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I got two more brand new 35Cs in a box. They're not even open yet, boys. Look at them. Brand spanky newy, and I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not. I might try to sell these ones, I might, and get more 50Cs. Plus, like I said, I need four, four S 50Cs. But I like to get the bigger ones, eh? I like to go like 100Cs, but they're big bucks, they are. Friggin' right, they are. So I'm just trying to make a deal with the company I am for some four S LiPo batteries. And I've been working, working on them a little bit. I, I, I text them and I emailed them. I said, hey, listen, give me a little bit of a discount and I'll do some videos about your batteries and we'll get that name out there and get you selling more. Hey, even though I don't have a hell of a lot of views, but hey, boys, 500 views has the potential to sell a few batteries, I would say. Hey, average 500 views, you know, a month down the road, average 700 views. I think that's enough views to maybe sell some batteries. Friggin' right I do, especially if the RBC guys start watching this, this old Bilsa person here. This old person that's spitting all over the place here. Why wouldn't I? But uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm not going to tell you their name yet until they make the deal, eh? But I'm, I'm thinking they said 20% off, and I'm thinking, eh, you know, sounds pretty good, boys, but 30, how's 30% off? So I'm just waiting for their little email back. I think 30% off is pretty fair. They're still making some money, and they're maybe going to sell some more. Friggin' right they are. Should I give you a sneak peek of who I'm talking to? Maybe? Maybe. Why wouldn't I? Let me see if I can see him, boys. Let me see what I can find here, boys. All I'm going to say, boys, is I can't remember already what's really going on. HRB. 
Hey? HRB, boys. That's all I'm gonna say for now. But they seem to be pretty reasonable in price, they do. And, uh, I'm willing to give anything a try because I'm not gonna spend 140 bucks a battery. Forget that deal. If I'm gonna try out a battery, I want a low budget battery because I'm on a low budget, boys. Freaking right I am. Why wouldn't I be? I'm gonna have a little coffee, roll up the rimage, and, uh, Put a couple more batteries in the old Charger Rooster here, because these are done, boys. They're done. What we should do, maybe, we'll stack the 50 C's together over here, we will. Friggin' right, we will. Because they're all charged, ready to rock and roll. We'll charge them over there. That one's ready to go. These ones are charged. That one's ready to go. That's for Millie's. Hey, friggin' right it is. So we'll grab out the old, the old Traxxas TRX here and dig the old battery out of this one and give it a charge up, we will. Jenny, I was talking about. Maybe the old 5,000. Another good battery. See, no swollen. She's mint. Stick with the 50 C's, boys. I'm no professional, but I'm telling you right now, 50 C's is the way to go, minimum. Minimum, boys. Decent. So that's charging on the old Onyx 245, eh? That's charging on the old Onyx 245, boys. Decent. Oh, I gotta take this thing out again. I'm having withdrawals already, and I haven't even freaking had that long. Boys. Boys. Come on there, boys. Decent. I think I had another battery. Oh. Yeah, I do. Look at boys. Here's a 35C Venom that I uh, kind of recobbled together. Now, I don't know if this one's a bad one or not. I think one of them dropped a cell, boys. Let me see what this one's reading. She's at 7.45 volts. So I'm pretty sure that this one's pooched. But also, you might want to pick yourself up one of these too, eh? The old balance tester to see what the balance is at. Watch this, boys. Oh, wrong way, boys. Decent. So there's three cells in there, all cells. 7.54, oh, cell one, no goey. Cell two, cell three. This battery's toast, boys. There's something going on in there and I don't know quite what's what's what and where's who's and who's when. But let's try her again, boys. See if we can get her to read. I give the wires a wiggle, see if it's a bad wire. Three cells, all. Seven, three, nope. Got a bad cell, boys. She's toast to yokes. God darn it, what would it be? Just that battery is. So I've got three 35s, six 50s, right? six 50s, and a two cell. So soon you'll see, hopefully, some 4S for the old X Max, and then we can run her off of 8S Power Boys. Hey, let me really rip. Freaking right, we will. Oh, almost forgot. Look what coming today. Look what coming today, boys. I got some drivers I did, hey? I went out and I bought the cheapest damn drivers you could ever find, boys. Friggin' right I did. These babies were friggin', I think, 19 bucks, eh? <laughs> 19 bucks, boys. But I don't even think that's gonna fit the slash, let alone anything else, for Christ's sakes. No, don't even fit the slash, that one don't. And that's the biggest one, boys. So these two are basically garbage, they are. Friggin' right they are. But uh, hopefully these ones work on something. Which I doubt they will. Why would they? They're only 19 freaking dollars, boys. Oh, there we go. It works on that. Too small for that. Do we get a bigger one, boys? Decent. So we can work. We can use them, boys. They will work. Freaking right, they will. And look, they match my shocks. Hey, they match the blue with the old Traxxas. And they got a blue X-Max, so everything's blue, boys. Freaking right, except for the TRX boards. It's like, not sure what color that is, right? I'd say black, boys. Hey, freaking right, it do. Why wouldn't I? Oh, excuse me, boys. Pardon me. A little dinner there. I just got back from the old dinner again. Went to the old boulevard in Sarnia. It's there. God, they got good food there. If you ever want to go somewhere and you live in Sarnia and you want, you know, a decent menu, good looking waiters, hey, freaking right they are. And uh, great service, too. Freaking right. Hit them up. The old boulevard there on Exmouth Street. They're freaking better. But, anyways, this is just a quick little video there showing you. What's new and exciting over here, which is nothing, eh? Frig all. Why would it? And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. You better. And that's just my thoughts on some LiPo batteries. And like I said, comment below and let me know what you're using and what you like and what is the best so far that you've used. I'd like to hear it. Friggin' right I would. So anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.